Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. Average worker manager, actually, of the streets, the unseen business, and he is in a hospital today, doing whatever it is he's doing in the hospital for the unseen business, the streets. And he's going down the hallway, and a small child starts screaming at the top of her lungs. And Tommy thinks it's him because, you know, he's had that reaction, missing both arms. And, uh, the nurse standing next to Tommy explains, no, it's Randall Stevenson. He's uh, getting some free PR or some PR by uh, handing out some uh, equipment at the hospital doing something. And the small child sees Randall Stevenson and is reminded of that face in the flames. Yeah, uh, Randall Stevenson's Religious, political, business, uh, lifeline censorship. Stopped her mom's phone. She's undergoing some painful uh, rehab and skin grafts and all of that. Stopped her mom's phone from working, her lifeline from working, because of, uh, in an emergency, because of Randall's censorship. Make that video. Uh, if you're hijacked, call to me right now. That's your child's lifeline. Not being allowed to work by Randall Stevenson conducting harassment techniques against me and you. That's your family's lifeline. Not working. Check your child's lifeline for Randall Stevenson's censorship. And also, put all AT&T employees, they don't mind noise, right outside their homes. So you call them up 24-7-365, park your noise maker outside of all AT&T employees' homes. You get them to crack, call them again and again, trying to call me, telling them you can hijack America's Life Funds. You can alter phone records again and again. America has your phone gate on video. And I guarantee you those lower level employees who interrupt their uh, drug bins or they're party, they're, they're angry, they're overworked, you call them again and again, they will tell you other than hijacking America's lifelines and jeopardizing our security as a nation and its families, they will tell you exactly what Randall Stevenson's company is doing. Get it out of them. Human Resources is showing around a new employee and he takes him in to see Randall Stevenson and he's in the middle of soaking his hands and he's all caught up in his devil tree he tells the new employee all about it it's from an activist family they uh, were giving us a hard time getting truth out about us and I'm, yeah Something happened at their house, a uh, fire, and that AT&T phone, their lifeline wasn't working quite properly. Yeah, he's soaking his hands. He knows somebody at the hospital was able to get their blood to soak his hands in. See a helicopter? Or some uh, shadows. 9-11, flight 93, check in post in 5. Trying to call me, Melton. You want to know why America's lifelines are being hijacked when you do? Not one. 9-11, flight 93, check in over a decade of asking. You make that video of whoever is in the room there with you. Their phone, their family's lifeline not working as you tried to call me. No. And don't forget to put AT&T's employees on the backs of their fives. Call them up 24-7. Or your noisemakers outside of their homes. 
call them up. 24-7, yes. And tell them you can alter phone records all you want. We've got your phone gate on video. Time on your phone, number dialed. Oh, for the generals as well, no mail about those 911 Flight 93 chicks in that decade of asking. Oh, mail me a phone or something else with a GPS on it. Watch it be stolen. And then uh, use that GPS to find out where America's stolen mail warehouses are. Yeah, it might seem mean to do that to the, just your average AT&T employee. But you don't know what they know, what they don't know. They don't in some cases. And they'll tell you what other treason, what other compromising of our security they're involved in. Besides, hijacking America's lifelines and altering phone records to cover that up. Be the reporter. Make that video, make that uh, call. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me, get it on video, time on your phone, date, number dial. You got AT&T's phone gate on video. So an AT&T executive runs into Randall Stevenson's office. He says the president's on the phone. He wants to know about AT&T's hijacking of our lifelines, compromising of our security as a nation. And uh, Randall says, well, tell the El Presidente what he can do with his call about America's security. And, you know, the, uh, the exec says, no, no, this isn't South America. This is the United States. And Randall says, yeah, I know. Tried to call me with the executives of AT&T on the phone. Tell them we got your phone key on video. AT&T is requesting. Oh, that was not stop until I got up, then they turned off that hatred noise, which is, it should be off already because they're in the closed parking lot. But they're openly conducting noise harassment against the man in the wheelchair. And six, apartment complexes in close proximity. So put their numbers on the backs of five to all AT&T employees. Do some intel for America. Call them 24 7 park your noisemakers outside their homes. You get them to crack. They know exactly what Randall Stevenson is doing. His company is besides hijacking a lifeline that threatens our security as a nation and as family. You get it out of them 24 7. Call. Try to call me in front of them via speakerphone. You know, ATT phone records all you want. We've got your phone gate on video. What else are you planning? Angry you get them, the more likely they will be to tell you. Do some intel for America. So an AT&T executive is out on the golf course. And his phone rings and thinks it's... Uh, important phone monopoly business so he answers and yes is somebody checking their family's lifeline and want to know what his active part in it being hijacked is Randall's worried enough about hijacking America's lifelines to alter phone records to cover them up for over a decade now AT&T has been doing that get the time on your phone the number dialed and if you see someone on a Dallas golf course screaming his head off or maybe at the country club that's more than likely uh, Randall get it on video why is your phone not allowed to work ask Randall that post 424-229-4140 here Lori's hatred it's a personal knife in the back reference I've nicknamed that hatred noise Lori and Brady Bond as it's over the top, it's obvious.
It is hatred. Whenever you hear it, remind yourselves to call me up. Try to. In front of the devil, Lori, and her gay husband, Samuel Lindbond. And also, in front of every AT&T employee. That is them right there. Asking you to do that. It's their guilty conscience. Requesting that you call them up. 24-7. You park noisemakers outside their homes. You get the truth out about whatever Randall Stevenson, CEO, and other executives have are doing, aside from hijacking a lifeline in a very easily demonstrated way for the past decade. Post. Milton's imagery. Do you want some? Oh, those are my eyes. Do you want some imagery for your ducks? Or perhaps your sleek wheelchair? Try to call me. 424-229-4140. See the devil still on your call. Make a video of that. You got the time, you got the date, any video. And yes, those uh, folks with bloody hands. Hijacking calls to me for over a decade. They are worried enough about the crime. Two alter phone records to cover them up. So get on video. Time on your phone. Number dial. AT&T's. The Mormons and the Muslims. The phone gate. Mail me those uh, phones or anything that has a GPS on it. What's the devil steal? Your mail. Whatever you've mailed me. Then use those GPS the things to locate America's stolen mail warehouses. Do some intel for America. Post. See a vapor trail? Be on the side of those driving the tanks, the jeeps, the jets. Side the children and truth. Put AT&T's numbers on the backs of those fives. Put them on speakerphone, you try to call me. Not one, not eleven, flight nine three check in over a decade of asking. See that phone you're making a video of? As every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, police, paramedics make a video of the timestamp on your phone. And my number dialed. Certified mail if you want. There's the address. 4260 Rick Woodward, apartment 409. It takes five minutes to make that video. With AT&T executives on the back and ask them, are you planning a revolution, an invasion? Is that why you are hijacking America's lifelines? Such an easily documented way. Here AT&T distracting for Mormons and in coordinated harassment. Move with them, tell all of America. Make a video of you calling up Randall Stevenson and AT&T's executives and trying to call me with them on speakerphone. Tell them it. you can alter phone records all you want. Randall, America has your phone gate. AT&T's phone gate on video. Has your dangerous political, religious, and business censorship. Charging us more, 150 million subscribers to AT&T. Charging us more to conduct harassment techniques across the country, like what's going on with uh, Spectrum. They bought them out because I've been asking for a 911 flight 93 chick for a decade, have yet to get one, and are conducting coordinated harassment techniques with the Mormons in the apartment down below. 911 flight 93, check and post and five, make sure your phone is allowed to work all the time when you hear that siren. And no, I haven't gotten one plate 93 check call in over a decade of asking. So that's why I'm telling you to put all AT&T employees' numbers on the backs of these fives, all of the generals and colonels' numbers on the backs of these fives, and you try to call me with them on speakerphone. You tell them I've got the time on my phone, the date, 
I've got Melton's number dialed. It doesn't matter if at and is altering phone records. I've got your phone gate, at and and the General's phone gate on video. Tell everyone you know to do the same thing. Remember the post, we the people must be the reporters. Call me up in front of reporters as well. Show them how to do their job. Certify mail, send those things, electronic stuff with uh, the phones, the lifelines, with man in a wheelchair. My phone isn't allowed to work all the time properly. Aside from the menace nature of you not reaching me. So uh, mail me a phone. Use that. If it's got my address on it, it will be stolen. All I get are bills. So, uh, yeah, use that GPS to locate those stolen mail warehouses and who's got their hands bloody with those stolen mail warehouses aside from, on top of, I take a mirror's lifelines. See, that's how easily Spectrum turns off that noise, that lorry noise. Closed parking lot in there, harassing six different apartment complexes. Because I've been asking you to check your lifeline for over a decade without getting one 9 11 flight 93 check call. So, yeah, working noise makers outside of every ATT employee. That includes Spectrum, they bought Spectrum to harass a man in a wheelchair. Parking noise makers outside. On any of my 93 check imagery you put their numbers, their addresses, AT&T employees. The lower ones will tell you what the higher ones are doing. Aside from, besides, not, let, not letting your call to me get through, be hijacking your calls. Tell them as you got my speakerphone, all those AT&T employees, you can alter phone records all you want. I'm trying to call Melton right now. Got the timestamp on my phone. I got the number dialed. I've got AT&T's phone gate. What else are you doing to compromise the security of America? Get them angry. Get them on their bad day. They'll tell you what Randall Stevenson and the executives are doing. That's treasonous. That it compromises our security as families and as a nation. AT&T's employees love hatred noise. You park those vehicles outside their homes. This is a closed parking lot. That is AT&T's hatred. Top to bottom, requesting. I'll get to it. I'm one man working alone. The honk for Jesus at AT&T employees and Mormons who are incredibly active both in America's high tech lifelines and yeah, put the pressure on them. You park those things outside, put those screws, tighten that vice, and you call them up 24-7 at home, at work, at school, when they just got drunk, when they got home from a party, when they're high, when they're overworked, and you find out what other than harassment techniques and hijack lifelines AT&T is part of. Remember to post. Call the generals and the colonels as well. Put the numbers on the backs of fives. Here are et and hatred commercial. On TV or in a parking lot near you, they bought Spectrum to be that obvious. To harass a man in a wheelchair. Telling you about your hijack lifeline for over a decade. Put the numbers of at and executives and employees as well. The lower level ones will tell you what the upper level ones, what treason they are involved in. Hand them out at church, at work, at school. A lot of stuff prepared as 4x6 photos at vote-truth.blogspot.com. Put their numbers on the back, tell them, call them up. Try to call me with them on speakerphone, tell them. You can AT&T phone records all you want. We've got your phone gate on video. Hear a siren? Check America's lifelines for AT&T's dangerous security compromising 
lifeline censorship. Not one, nine eleven five nine three tech and over a decade of asking guys. No certified mail in that time, but this is about AT and T. No certified mail about those ninety three checks. No FedEx, no UPS. All part of phone gate. But yes, make that video next time you see that AT&T commercial on TV or you hear it like that. We hear AT&T's commercial for censorship. Let it be a reminder. See that vapor trail as well. Let it be a reminder to make that video of America's Hijacked Lifelines. 424-229-4140 with AT&T's executives on speakerphone. AT&T employee is threatening your family. Trying to call me right now, and it's an incredibly active part in America's hijacked lifelines. Harassing a man in a wheelchair. Harassing your children. That's your family's lifeline not allowed to work. Put his address, put his numbers on the backs of fives. And uh, you get him good and angry with your noisemakers outside of his home. Tell him it's very, uh, a little Muslim beard there. Tell him that his hatred just earned him a lot of noise and you get him to tell you what Randall Stevenson's corruption his company his out of control monopoly are they planning an invasion are they planning a revolution that man right there that Muslim looking man with the beard he's gonna tell you you make enough noise you call him 24-7 he changes the the number you call again you get it you call you hand it out at church at work at school tell them this man's threatening our families we're not going to have that oh they bought spectrum AT&T bought spectrum because I've been asking for a 911 flight 93 check for over a decade and have yet to get one and they have those who are actively involved in that and other crimes they are conducting literally making noise like that outside my home see you Address their hatred of your child and your hijack lifeline. Give that uh, Muslim man more noise than he can tolerate. And his hatred likes noise. Post whatever he tells you about Randall Stevenson's treasonous company that is a threat to America's security, your family's security. Try to call me with all AT&T employees on speakerphone, and you tell them you can AT&T phone records, alter phone records all you want. I've got your crimes. I got AT&T's phone gate on video, and don't forget all of these employees volunteering. All of AT&T's employees volunteering for the noise, hatred thrown back at them. Now you see that's a volume. that is not bad and yes uh, I've had high tech toys take some a whole lot of stuff from next door and turn it into that and it shouldn't be there at all this is a closed parking lot AT&T is uh, it's a gated parking lot close to six apartment complexes call up AT&T and ask him why he is harassing a man in a wheelchair and your family. Try to call me in front of them. Via speakerphone or literally in front of them. 424-229-4140. Timestamp on your phone, number dialed. You can AT&T our phone records all you want. We've got phone gate on video. You threat to our security as families and a nation. Miranda Stevenson. Hey, again. Saturday morning for 8 o'clock. You call up those, uh, you get, make sure you get AT&T's executives, their home phones. Plenty of folks in the military and tech business and just plain phone business that can get those numbers. But they're nighttime numbers, but the numbers on the weekend. You call them up. You tell those AT&T son of a bitch as you didn't, you don't mind disturbing Milton's home. Jesus is his Macleod house. Oh, this is it. I'm the only one in it.
You didn't mind disturbing his home, so you're not going to get a moment's rest. We have to find out what you're planning, you damn terrorists. Randall Stevenson, other AT&T execs. Call them left and right, try to call me in front of them. What are you doing? You can AT&T those phone records all you want. We've got you. A revolutionary effort in America that's going down big time. Welcome. Video I have to make to get uh, AT&T to stop harassing. It means it's Chinese when it turns off right after I pick up the phone to make the video. So Randall's got his hands in the blood of his latest victim. And uh, his secretary comes in and says he got another call. And he just goes berserk. He throws that blood all over the office. He, uh, he's angry as anything about being called on his active participation in compromising American security. Do call them on that 24-7. The lower level AT&T employees will, get, will tell you what the higher level is doing compromise our security you simply get your time on in your video your date and all AT&T employees 24 7 and they enjoy noisemakers outside their their homes and yes I, the lower level ones don't have that nice estate like Randall does that the military has to provide the noise to them and I hear they're doing that. But yeah, park your noisemakers outside 24-7. You try to call me with them on speakerphone 24-7. That's our security as a nation and as families. And Randall Stevenson's been altering phone records. As folks have been trying to call me with Flight 93 checks of America's lifelines for over a decade. You call Randall on that. All Spectrum, they're owned by AT&T. All of them as well. Each and every AT&T employee, that includes Spectrum's employees. They like noise, so you give it to them all they want. Or at least all they will get until... Yeah, you t they tell us the truth about them actively participating in America's hijack lifeline. Get their names, get their addresses, put them on the backs of those pipes, email them in Word docs, however you want to do it. And yeah, park the noisemakers out in front of their house. They can close that. They can turn it off. It's a closed parking lot. They choose to harass them out of wheelchair and you. I've been asking for an unleavened flight 93 check for over a decade. I have yet to get one. That's you picking up your phone knowing it works all the time. Because you can reach me. Not one 93 check call in over a decade. No certified mail. No non-certified mail. No FedEx. No UPS. Mail me a phone. Watch it be stolen. And then use the GPS to find out where America's stolen mail warehouses are and who's doing it. See, that's the beauty of that. Uh, they could tear down those warehouses. You mail me a uh, letter, a, a phone tomorrow, and uh, yeah, they, it's still, they got to put it somewhere. They got to do something with it somewhere. So, uh, yeah, mail me a phone, use the GPS to find out who is an active part in America's hijack lifelines. Remember the post. Whatever you find out about AT&T that they are using to um, compromise the security of America. All employees want that noise. They want to be called 24/7 when they're drunk, when they're high, when they're angry, having a fight with their wife. 
when they're overworked, well, oh, when Randall's giving them too much work, you get them on speakerphone, you try to call me. The angrier you get them as you're trying to call me, yeah, the more they're going to tell you about what they're doing, threatening America. Milton's videos and photos taken with this phone. The one making this video, the folder for it, the whole lot of uh, hatred from AT&T that bought Spectrum next door, harassing the man in the wheelchair and your family. That's your lifeline not working. 424-229-4140. And also from the Mormon cult, as always, within the apartment complex and within Spectrum. Taunting, threatening, and yes, with their Saudi Arabia, Middle East Muslims with their terrorist attitude. Remember, 424-229-4140, make that video of America's hijacked lifelines. Saudi Arabian Muslims on American soil hijacking our lifelines. Otherwise, it, it, either that or a whole lot of traitors within our government. Because I haven't gotten one 9 11 9 3 check in a decade of asking us with a whole lot of graphic art guys. Make that video, post that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me, put the numbers of every supposedly American Muslim, all Mormons. On the backs of those Mormon, Muslim, it's the same to me after uh, decades of seeing the character. Get it on video. Them on speakerphone, you trying to call me. Get that anger. Oh, Lori Ann Brady Bond as well. She's my devil sister. Get their hatred, their anger, Lori. The uh, Mormons, Mormon cult, and the Muslims. Get their hatred, their anger when confronted with truth. They all don't mind me being disturbed in my home. You disturb them in theirs with truth. You need to find out what Lori knows about America's hijacked lifelines and how to get her phone to work to taunt me, man in a wheelchair. You need to know that if that same political religious business censorship that, that is unnewsworthy for the past decade, but is easily documented, no mail either. Cert certify that mail, make a video of it, use FedEx, use UPS. You need to ask Lori and the Mormons and the Muslims apparently, supposedly American Muslims, what do you know? How do you, you get your phone to work to taunt Lori? Why is your hatred so much, Lori? The Mormons and the Muslims. Get that anger post. Get that hatred post. That into that real quick. I was going to put you in my Tommy. Those uh, keeping the close watch, keep watching, you're going to learn something. They sure uh, called an end to that little meeting real quick. I guess I have to get the shadow in. Remember, 911 Flight 93 check and post in 5 with AT&T on speakerphone. Every single member of management of AT&T. And good thing about non-management of AT&T, they can get those uh, management numbers when they change their numbers. All of America, call them up, try to call me Melton in front of them via speakerphone or literally in front of them. And you tell them. You're compromising of our security. It's coming to an end. We can't have you as a phone monopoly threatening America with your terrorism. You don't think that's terrorism? Try to call me. Envision yourself and your family in a burning building as AT&T's Randall Stevenson conducts his political religious in Unchecked business censorship. There's your terrorist in suits that you need to document. And yes, with all the Muslims and Mormons in and out of AT&T's parking lot next door conducting the harassment, as well as the apartment down below, 
Yeah, form that military pit bull project. Watch call list. You're protecting America. You're letting them know we're watching. Call them up, put them on speakerphone. Every single Muslim and Mormon on American soil, and you try to call me with them on speakerphone. You tell them. They can AT&T our phone records all you want. All they want. We got your crime. We got your phone gate. We got your treason. We got your preparing for an invasion or revolution. We got it on video. We're watching you. Pass that list along to a whole lot, bunch of other folks who can do the same thing. Call them up. Let them know we're watching. When they get to the point they can place a cavalry Hussein in a white house right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cavalry Hussein. The Mormons and the Muslims' terrorism with AT&T has gone way too far. Here is Siren, 9 million flight 93 check. You're making a video of your hijack call to me, Melt. A John Melton Brady, 424-229-4140. Make the video of whoever's in the room there with you as you try to call me. Not one, not eleven, flight 93 check. And over a decade of asking. Certified mail as well. No certified mail about those 93 checks. No non-certified mail. No FedEx. No UPS. It's an organized crime that threatens our security as a nation. And AT&T is as involved as they can get by Spectrum next door. To harass a man in a wheelchair. Goes in the kitchen charging. Put Randall Stevenson and other AT&T executives on speakerphone and try to call me, 424-229-4140. And yes, uh, huh. yeah, there it's going. And uh, 4260, Eagle Rack Boulevard, apartment 409. Current address. Make a video of that mail before you send it. And uh, yeah, that's the reason your AT&T bill is so high. They have to finance their harassment techniques. For political, religious, and business censorship across America. So I asked Randall, what, why can't I reach Melton? When else will my phone not be allowed to work with your censorship? Make the video post the video. Timestamp on your phone, number dial. CEO and executives of AT&T on speakerphone. You see, that's Chinese. You heard that noise out the street? That's them saying, hey, not that loud. And you see that man out there breaking decibel laws and muffler laws? Is that yeah, loud out at the street? That's Chinese assholes. They're obvious as anything. But let's talk about that man right there. He just requested that you have your church group, have your civic group, take turns parking outside of his home. In an apartment complex, in uh, wherever. 24-7, you let him hear that noise he loves so much. Nice Chinese lapdog there. And then you try to call me with him on speakerphone. 911 flight 93 checking post in five. You get out of him. What else he's doing? He's not just doing that there. Coordinated. He pulled in. He started back into there. Then he pulled over here. Who knows what the hell he's doing? He's harassing the man in the wheelchair as his Chinese handler inside there somewhere tells him to. So uh, park outside his home, being a good Chinese laptop, just got him a lot of noise. Park outside his home, tell him, you made it personal with me. Not me, the man in wheelchair, you. Your family's life on not working, and he's taking an active part in it. So 9-11, flight 93, check and post and five. Get that man, good and angry, and he'll tell you what else Randall Stevenson's mega 
monopoly that threat to America company is doing. Besides, compromise my security and your family's security and the nation's security with his uh, hijacking of your lifelines. Get him angry, he's going to tell you what Randall Stevenson's doing. Do that. He just requested noise at his place. Give it to him. So that man right there who is coordinated with folks inside the building conducting espionage perhaps? He backs up and then the minute I get the phone out to make a video he turns that noise off and there was no reason for him to back up. So you find his address. All AT&T employees love harassment noise. So you park outside their house Turn it on, then you call them up and you try to call me with them on speakerphone. You tell them. You can alter phone records all you want, AT&T. America has your phone gate, your very personal phone gate, on video. And you get those traitors, those treasonous folks, on video. Being those traitors, compromising our security as a nation. Place in the Cavalry Hussein or White House, right? If we got attacked by a whole other Cavalry Hussein. I'm not a fan of the Russian guy either. The Oriental Russian guy building the Great Wall of China in America. I'm not a fan of him either. But, uh, yeah, all those AT&T employees love noise, so you give them plenty of it, and you find out what management's up to. Oh, the lower level ones aren't getting paid as much, so they just might tell you so you don't park in front of their house and turn that backup noise on 24-7. They just might tell you about Randall Stevenson, spoiled little rich kid, treason. That affects America. We need to know what they're doing other than hijacking lifelines. Remember to ask those generals, too. It's personal with them as well. So you make noise, you honk at that general, you see him in town. You let him know generals can be tried for treason. Those uh, military personnel on hand in AT&T right now, waging war against, against Jesus, against the American public, against the damn world, you tell them you are accountable for your actions. Nothing else, we're going to throw your hate right back at you. And we're more than capable of doing that. We can't have you jeopardizing our world because you want to conduct your own little revolution. Invasion in America. We're not going to have it. Semper Fi, aim high, fly, fight, win this, we will defend. Defend America. From AT&T. Conducting harassment, hijacking lifelines, the revolution. Hear that hatred commercial of theirs? Make a video if you hijack call to me. Look for those. My 93 check imagery that someone else has put 93 check uh, call list stuff on. It means all employees of AT&T. Call them up. You try to call me. You ask them what is your treason this company doing? Those lower level folks, you get them after they've had a few beers after work or got high or maybe they're just overworked and angry from that guy parking his uh, backup noise outside of their house because Randall wanted to harass a man in a wheelchair. They're just going to tell you what those upper levels are doing. Put the screws on. Do that intel for America. Semper Fi. Aim high, fly, fight, win. This we will defend, defend America from traitors hijacking our lifelines.